If I want to print out web pages from Google Chrome, then what I can do is on the top right hand side, you can see that there's the option for Google Chrome. Once I click on it, what happens is that you have the print option. So once you click on print, the print preview page opens up. So I don't have a physical printer attached uh, over here uh, on my computer. So I'm just going to go around and choose a virtual uh, uh, printer right here, which is Microsoft Print to PDF. So it'll generate a PDF file um, um, in same format as if it would print out. So over here, you can see that I can scroll down and see how the page will be printed. You can see that it is being printed in span of 37 pages in total. So I can choose uh, whether I want to print out all pages or I can choose custom pages. Let's say, for example, I want to print from page two to five. I'm going to say two dash five right here. And what happens is that it'll print from page two to five right here, just like this. So this is page two and this is page five. I can go around and erase that out as well. So over here, you can see that there's layout and I can choose to print in landscape or portrait mode. So you can see that uh, I'm in landscape mode now. So this is landscape mode and I can also print it out in portrait mode as well. So once I do that over here, you can see that I can choose whether I want to print it out in color or black and white. So you can see that now it is in black and white mode right here. And then you can go around and print it in color mode as well. Over here, there is more settings. So if I were to go to more, I can choose the paper size that I want to print it in. So let's say, for example, I want to print it in A5, which is a larger paper. You can see that everything, like all the contents, readjust itself. So I can choose uh, to print multiple pages in a sheet as well as I wish. And I can change the scale level as well. So here, there, you can see that there's multiple pages per sheet. And you can see that this is two pages per sheet right here. So I'm just going to go back to one right here. And once I do that, I have option for the margins as well. So I can go for minimum margin so that there's less, less amount of margin over here, uh, just like this. So there's no margin, almost no margin right here. Or I can go around on to none and so forth as well. Then you have the scale option. You can go to custom scale. So right now, uh, once I do 200, it'll zoom in out over here. So it is loading the preview. So it's zooming out very much. Or I can do something like 25. And what happens is that it'll go back into 25% right here. So similarly, there's different options like this background graphics, just like this, which I can enable and disable. So depending on the web page. So in uh, this web page, there's no background graphics. So it is not actually showing up uh, as any difference. So there's print using system and everything else, as you can see. So I'm just going to go around and choose A4 over here. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this out into 100, just like this. So once I do that, I'm going to choose the option over here from color to black and white. And once I do that, I'm going to go around and choose from uh, page one to page five, just like this. And once I do that, I can hit the print button right here and I can go around into desktop and then over here in PDF, I can just go around and type in a uh, test print just like this. And I'm going to hit the save button. So once I do that, what happens is that a PDF will be generated and I'm just going to open this around with uh, Google Chrome itself. So let me just drag it in right here. And here you can see that this is what you have as a printed file. So if you were to actually use a printer and print it, then this is what you have. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.